Okay, well, since, since, I was gonna say, since things are official, we should go on a date with our boyo. I can't believe I completely forgot about, wait a minute, you don't need to get to two hearts affection to make him your boyfriend, you just need to have enough affection points. I guess we're not official yet, we're just able to take him out on some dates. So, I completely glossed over this, so that we have the two here, we have one at the beach, but I am pretty sure his actual swim date thing is at the pool, but we won't get that till we're officially boyfriend-girlfriend. We can go to the accessory store, Tom of Love, eventually. Karaoke one day, and that's about it. But he loves... Is that the gallery? Yeah, the gallery, the shooting range, and the botanical gardens, it looks like, and there's the pool date. And we can go once to the amusement park, once to the haunted house, and once to the zoo. Not interested in the countryside. I'm thinking... That's not right. This one. I'm thinking we should go to the beach before that winter date is closed off. And then we'll do the other two later. So, yeah, let's see what happens. I'm hoping that we run into Pran quite a bit on this. I'm probably going to run into Everett quite a bit as well. Just because him and Jeremy have always been at odds, but we'll see. Still digging this music, though, Jeremy. Ah, uh, yes? Hey there, Jeremy. It's me, Jerkette. Okay. Wanna go out with me tomorrow? Not really. Obviously that was a rhetorical question. Of course you do. Huh. Let's go to the beach. Why? It's cold and dirty and there's nothing there. Cause I thought that'd make you happy. Don't you like cold, empty places? Those seem like perfect places for you. Um, no. I like being comfortable. Also, I didn't think you did things for other people. That comment was as cold as the beach right now, and about one-tenth as cold as your heart. If I'm that cold already, I guess that explains why I prefer staying inside where it's warmer. Yeah, yeah. Are you gonna give up and come yet? I don't have all day. Sigh. Whatever. Excellent. I'll meet you in front of Rio's tomorrow. Mm, bye. Yeah, bye. Poor Jeremy. We're just gonna have to bully him into all these dates. Um, and then we'll see you at work, boo. Give me an awesome outfit. What are we gonna see? Oh, this one. Okay, we've seen this one before. Lots of yellows, a little bit of blue. Hello. Hiya, Jeremy. I just realized you never thanked me for picking this place because I thought you'd like it. You still made us come here after I said I didn't like it. As they say, Jeremy, it's the thought that counts. But after I explain... Never mind. It doesn't matter. Good. Now, here's a sentence I thought I'd never say. Hey, Jeremy, can I please button you up? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, no. But that last button on your vest is unbuttoned. I can totally button it for you real quick. You won't even notice. Oh. That's fine. Doesn't bother me. No. Then will you at least button it yourself? Nope. What? Why not? Because I want it this way. But it's gonna bother me all day. Oh. That's too bad. That's how things go. Don't be like that. Why do you even care? Some of the buttons on top are unbuttoned too. Yeah, but those are unbuttoned to fit that nifty scarf. I approve that. Well, I guess you'll have to get over it then. Fine. Be that way. <laughs> Alright, so this is nice. Very quiet. Whatever. Jeremy, do you ever come to the ocean just to stare into its vastness? No. I spend every day staring into the vast, empty abyss that is life already. Oh. I don't do that either. But it'd be pretty poetic if we did. That's what we should say we did if anyone asks. Um, who would ask? I don't know, nosy people. So it's something you would do? Yeah, and I can't be the only one who does it, so that's gonna be our story. Why don't we actually do it? That'd be too hard. Uh, staring at the ocean is hard? Of course not. 
The challenge would be stopping myself from being all over you if you started dramatically staring into the sea. Ew. Come on, you can think of a smarter comeback than that. It's hard to deliver a snappy comeback when you're trying to keep bile down. <laughs> oh! Yo! That's better. Now, I'm sure we can both agree that's not a road we should go down right now, so we're gonna have to save it for later. Later is never coming for that. Sure, whatever you say. I'll get ya. Sigh. What exactly did you have in mind when you decided we'd come here? Good question. I did have something I wanted to do, but I can't seem to remember. How? It's only been a day. Yeah, but I can't stop imagining you on the edge of a cliffside at sunset, staring contemplatively into the horizon, your silly braids flowing in the wind. There's not a snappy enough comeback in the world to do justice to that. Ah, uh, I want to go home. Hey, look at that. I just remembered. I wanted to talk to you. Um, that's it? Yes, but I had a specific question I wanted to ask. Actually, it was that question that made me think about the vastness of the ocean, which is why I asked that first question and... Just ask the other question. Okay, Jeremy, what do you think your place in life is? Oh, we're doing that here because we don't go to the countryside. Interesting. Huh, nothing. That's all life is. How thought-provoking. Whatever. Like I said, life is meaningless, life is misery. There is no place. Fine. How about this? What do you think your place in the school is? Uh, the buzzkill, a nerd, whatever. It doesn't matter. Sheesh, you sure are hard to have a deep conversation with. So are you. <laughs> yeah, let's not try that again. That'll just have to be another thing we just tell people we do. Can we not go on dates and instead you just tell people that we did? No way! I don't date you for the reputation, obviously, considering where you fall on the high school food chain. I take you out because I want to be with you. Why? Oh, so now you want to have a meaningful conversation. Your answer isn't going to be meaningful. <laughs> you got me there. I like you. It's as simple as that. Wow. Getting to, uh, confessions early, you two. Look at you. Um, Jerkat? Yes, Jeremy? I was wondering, could you tell me how to stop you from liking me? Pfft, no can do. I don't even know the answer myself. My attraction to you is just one of the many mysteries of this great wide world. Wow. Deep. Thank you. A blush from Jeremy already? Ew, ma! <laughs> huh, how very intriguing. Huh. Already confessions to... Um, I date you because I like you. And, uh, there's no way to get me to not like you. And a blush from Mr. Jeremy himself. With that pale complexion, I wouldn't have thought it possible, but here we are. I'm positively gobsmacked. That's what it is. Huh. I, uh, I don't know what to say. Other than I guess we'll have another date soon. <laughs> I don't think I'll go this weekend. I'll go next weekend. And then maybe we'll get... Is it a new outfit? January, February? I can't remember. I think it is. Jeremy. Hi. This is impotent. Open your door and come out into the hallway. Why? How do you know I'm in my room? Just open the door and find out. I don't wanna... Do it! Sigh. I don't see anything. <laughs> uh, how did you know I was in my room? Where else would you be? Meh. <laughs> what a terrible prank to play on him. I approve. Let's sleep. After that, 
wonderful prank. We deserve a sleep. Definitely. And then we'll ask him on a date. To the school. That should be nice. Right, Jeremy? Actually, we should check. Alicia, how are we doing with that boy? 92. Eh, there's probably one date we can do, but it's going to take us a while to work up again. Can we do this one? Yeah, we can. The library. For a study date. Um, hello. Hi, Jeremy. It's me. I know. Great. So do you want to go to the library together tomorrow? Why? To have a study date, obviously. You study? When I've got a cute partner, yes. Uh, is this a trick? No. What kind of trick would it even be? I don't know. Maybe I show up to study, but it was just a false pretense and your real plan is something else. Please, I wouldn't do that. I'm not so pathetic that I need to resort to lying to get a guy to go out with me. Whatever. Is that a yes or what? Uh, I guess if we're really gonna study, there's at least a point to it. Sweet. I'll see you then. Meet me in front of the high school section. Okay. Bye. <laughs> is this a trick? Squint. Squinting at you so hard right now. Hiya, thanks for coming. Sigh. I forgot that we don't get outfits if we just go to the uh, school. Whoops-a-daisy. Wow, you're almost as enthusiastic about studying as I normally am. And here we are. I can see that. Let's get a table. What do you want to start with? Slow down, man. We just got here. I'm the one that's supposed to move too fast, you know? There's no point in standing around. Yes, there is. Uh, why? I don't want to study. Huh, I knew it. Hey, I was totally prepared to study when I called you up, but you made me doubt myself. I'm not going anywhere else. We don't have to. We can still have fun here somehow. Do we have to? Yes, you're going to have fun and like it. Whatever. Good. Now, how to have fun at a library? You didn't even think that much through? Nope, but don't worry. It'll come to me. How will do you on... Oh, okay. I'm like, how will? How well do you do on tests? Why do you want to know that? Um, I'm curious if you're overconfident or have just given up on academic success at this point. Neither. I'm doing fine. Sooner or later, it'll catch up to you. Thank you for the advice. I promise I'll do better next time. Your promises are worthless to me now. Fine. We can study if it matters that much to you. It doesn't matter anymore. The damage is done. Well, alright. Let's go back to the doing something else plan. What should we do? This is your date idea. You shouldn't have to ask me. True, but you're the smart one here. I'm sure you know libraries better than I do. Yeah. Then we're agreed. You'll come up with what we do. You've got to know at least one library activity. Ah, uh, whatever. Well, I'm waiting. Ah, uh, alright. I do know something. Great. What is it? A game. Ooh, how do you play? You pick an author who has written multiple books, and each person takes a copy of one of their works. You can use the same story for everyone, or give each a different one. They can't have already read that specific book from that author, at least not recently. Okay, and then what? The players flip to random pages, and the first person to find a trope, scene, or unusual word that consistently pops up in that author's work wins that round. The player will have to defend their choice if someone accuses it of not being a common enough element of that author's style. Seriously? That's the worst game I've ever heard of. Who even knows a writer well enough to pick up on that kind of stuff? Slowly raise his hand. <laughs> Nerd from the back corner! Ah! <laughs> I would love to play this with Jeremy. People who like books. Do I look like someone who likes books that much? Don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> I 
All right, that was pretty funny. So I'll let your terrible suggestion slide. Now think of something else. I can't. Do you want me to decide instead? We'll read quietly on our own and maybe discuss what we read at the end if there's time. Sheesh, I'd rather play your lame game. We can't. You don't know books. Lesson learned. Never let you decide what we do again. At least you learned one thing during this library visit. Stop being clever. It's making it harder to be unhappy with you. Whatever. Ah, uh, you smiled, though, for a half a second. You sure know how to make a library as boring as one would imagine it is. I wasn't the one who said we should come here. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming anyways, I guess. Huh. It's funny, ever since I was editing the last episode of this... I've been trying to figure out who Jeremy reminds me of look-wise, and it finally hit me that he looks like Nageki's brother. Like, a fleshly brother of Nageki. <laughs> they look almost identical. Same orange eyes, same green hair, pale. Kind of hold themselves quiet, sad all the time. Uh, it was very interesting. And now I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I'm texting and working? Probably for a couple of weeks at least, I would think. Get our affection back up. And then we can go on another date. Try the whole dating thing again. See if things go a little smoother. All right, come on, scroll down for me. And let's go to work. Ah, another scene. You already have your arms crossed and I'll, I haven't even said anything yet. <laughs> um, hi. Hey, coming to see how I'm doing? I guess. Whatever. Uh-huh. So, Jeremy, what do you even do here? You're always in the back. Uh, things. Like, what kind of things? Things the school wouldn't approve of me doing. <laughs> really? Yeah, so do you really think my parents would care about following those guidelines when it comes to me? I guess not, but you can tell me, I won't say anything. Sigh, I fix things and do finance stuff. Pfft, wow, that kind of makes you like a manager. Managers don't repair broken doors. You mean that kind of fixing, where you're literally fixing the building? Yep. That's pretty intense. I can definitely see why the school probably wouldn't approve. Shouldn't they do that sort of stuff themselves? Yes, though since it's them, it'd be better if they hired a professional. Why? Because they'd probably just make it worse. Damn, Jeremy, you're not even nice to your own parents. Whatever. Honestly, I'm not sure why I was surprised. Anyways, I'm pretty impressed. Who knew you had practical skills? You're a handyman and accountant and all for the same price as barely functional teenagers like me. What a deal. At least now they have to pay me something for it. How long have you been doing it? And wait, they didn't pay you before? Um, I started helping to fix things at around 12 and finance stuff at 15. And no, they didn't. I was a partner in the family business, not an employee. They certainly taught you about the more underhanded aspects of a business early. They're not that smart. That's how they genuinely think of it. That's pretty cute. But if they're as incompetent as you say, then how were they running the business before you came along to save the day? Who knows how well it was actually doing. Or maybe back then they did bother getting the advice they needed from someone who knew what they were doing. It doesn't matter. I've spent my whole life with those people. I have enough experience to make a call on how competent they are. Seems to me like they've been doing things pretty okay, at least with their jobs. Clearly, they're not experts when it comes to parenting a guy like you. Maybe you just don't give them enough credit. Maybe. Probably not, though. Man, you're one cold kid. If they can't do anything right, then who taught you how to be Mr. Handyman? I figured it out myself, not that I wanted to. Fine, I'll let that go for now. But you know, if it bothers you so much, you could always tell the school. They'd probably retract the student work deal. 
Uh, do I look like I'm Shiloh? I'm not going to rat out my own parents. Besides, they'd probably find ways around it. Like saying it's a family activity rather than work. So you're just going to sit around and be miserable about your situation forever? Yep, like I always do. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm going to the back. Call me if there's an emergency. <laughs> wow, casting the shade on Shiloh. Um, I'm sorry, when did I become Shiloh Fields? I'm not writing out my own family. Even if they suck. Oh, Jeremy, you care. Even just a little bit. Hey, Jeremy. Sigh. What's wrong? Sigh. Hello? Sigh. If that's all you're gonna say, why say ant thing at all? Sigh. I know you're smirking, not sighing. Sigh. You suck. Sigh. <laughs> the commitment, though. That was great. Good going, Jeremy. Killing it. Killing it every day. <laughs> that was amazing. Alright. Shiloh's game. Is this a type game time? It is. Uh, what's the first question? I think it's... Disposition. That's what it, That's right. Uh, do a quick save -oo. Um, well, Jeremy's definitely introverted. <laughs> Aw, well, look who it is. The introverted duo. Introverted. I like a little more of a challenge. Sigh, of course you do. What can I say? Opposites attract. Ah. Uh... Pran, like, squinted at us after that. <laughs> Alright, and that's it for the personality portion of our questions. Wow, you weren't kidding. How short is this quiz? There are nine questions. Really? Not even ten? I could make up one more if you wanted me to. That's alright, just bring on question two already. Okay. Question two. In comparison to you, what's your preference for height? Taller, shorter, about the same. Definitely shorter. There's the shorties. Shorter, definitely. Good choice. Of course you'd say that. <laughs> Great. Question three. What's your preferred body type out of the people here? Kinda scrawny, sort of fit, or more muscular? Hmm, gonna have to think about who fits into what category here again. I'm pretty sure Jeremy fits into the thin category. Although I was looking at his arms at work, and he's got like some pretty, you know, defined muscles in his arms. Like his forearms are pretty defined. Which I was surprised by. Mean and lean. Ah, uh, why? Because it looks good. No need to act so confused about it. <laughs> Don't you know it? Mm hmm. Question four How do you feel about the length of their hair? Long, really short, at least a little something that hangs down. I think Jeremy falls into the in between. Pretty sure. Yep. In between. Having something to sway dramatically in the breeze is nice. Hmm. Does it still count if the hair is pulled back? Yeah, I don't see why not. It's alright with me. Alright. Question 5. Do you have any preference for skin tone? Lighter colored, medium, especially dark. Um, you don't have to answer if you don't want to, Jerkit. <laughs> Definitely light. I see you sneaking in there, bae. I don't mind answering. I've got a thing for guys on the lighter side. Okay, question six. Uh, I don't know if this question will really work. What's the problem? It's about the outfits people are wearing, but, you know, uniforms. Can't you tweak it? Sure. 
Everybody will just have to think about the types of clothes we wear outside of school, though. I'm sure we'll manage. Got it. Question six. When it comes to clothes, what types of color schemes do you prefer? Light and saturated colors, dark and muted colors, a mix of both. I haven't seen much Jeremy yet. I think I'll save over this. We've been doing good so far. I don't think he was... I'm trying to remember where I saw him. I mean, he was wearing yellow and blue. Does he wear light and saturated? No, you two do. Okay. Um, I mean, this isn't going to affect things too much, but I do want to get... I'll just go down the thing, I guess. Dark and muted. I would not call pale yellow and blue dark and muted, but I guess it's muted a little bit. I'll have to see more of Jeremy's outfit and find that out, I guess. I would not have guessed that, though. Dark, muted, and just stuff that's not going to be distracting. Very good point. Glaring colors are obnoxious. True, and there are much more important things to focus on. Heh <laughs> heh. Question 7. Do you care about the way their eyebrows look? This is getting ridiculous. Sorry, there are only so many questions you can ask about this kind of thing. Who cares? It's almost over. Let him ask the dumb questions. <laughs> As I was saying, is there something you prefer when it comes to eyebrows? Really thin, average, extra thick? Let's give me them thin eyebrows. Extra thin. Do I even want to know why? It's nothing weird. I just like how it looks. Sheesh. Super Mr. Judge mental. <laughs> Alright. Question 8. Glasses. Yay or nay? I'm gonna... I'm gonna save again. <laughs> I'm gonna say on occasions. Yeah, there we go. It's best when sometimes he has glasses and sometimes he doesn't. I wonder who that's referring to. Yeah, I wonder. Winku Winku. I see you at work all the time, Mr. Jeremy. Question 9. The last question. Finally. You do remember that after her, we're all going to have to take a turn, right? I know, but this part is almost over, and that's something. Hardly, but whatever makes you happy, sweet pea. Shush. Give me the last question, Shiloh. We're so close to the results. Uh, maybe we should skip it. Uh, what's the problem? The last question is unfair. It's about piercings, and SSB doesn't allow piercings for guys. There's only ever been one exception, so we couldn't know if the results were really right. Fine, let's ask. Is there anyone here who would have a piercing if you were allowed to have one? Me. I'd pierce my ears, or at least one. Anyone else? Ah, uh, I would. Jeremy, you'd have a piercing. Yes. Wow, what would you pierce? My belly button. Oh my god. I could have gone my whole life without knowing that. <laughs> and there you go. We'll just use our imaginations to pretend we live in a world where Everett has his ears pierced, and Jeremy... also has something pierced. Something unmentionable. That'll work. Yay! There we go. Absolutely. That's hot. Don't I know it. Fucking school with their bias rules. Yeah. You just gotta be as cool as Pran, man. Well then, get to figuring out who the lucky guy is. Some debate. <laughs> Lynn has to actually speak up again. 
Uh, if you ask me, I'd say it's Jeremy. I agree. Yeah, it's probably Jeremy. I guess. Ugh, you're seriously insane. We've got a winner, then. Jeremy, give your acceptance speech. Ah. Uh... You're welcome. You should be very flattered. Sigh. Whatever. Goodness, Jeremy. You're overwhelming us with your enthusiasm. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Shiloh's face is a thousand percent done. <laughs> that was great. All right, Jeremy, that means you get to answer the questions now. Do I have to? Can't you be more excited about this? Yeah, Jeremy. I know the rest of us would have been happy to be the ones your cat picked. Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself, mister. You- uh, I am also your type, Sir Nate. No, I can't. Whatever. Start. First question, disposition. Out. No preference. Okay. Second question. Height. T no preference. I knew this was gonna happen. Oh boy. Third. No preference. You can't say no preference to everything. Why not? Because it's a lie. Everyone has a preference for something. But I don't care. This is shit. Just let him have his no preference and move on. Hold your horses, Everett. I'm sure we can get a few answers if we try. Jeremy, don't you like piercings? You did say you wanted one. Yeah, but I don't care if she has one or not. See? Pointless. Can't you try a little harder to care? No. Well, it's not a question anymore. Try harder. Huh. Something other than orange hair or eyes. That's a start. It's not relevant to any of the questions, but still. Why wasn't there a question about hair and eye color? That seems like a pretty obvious thing to ask about. I don't know. I told you I didn't make the game up. Some other person decided what the questions were. Whatevs. You got anything else, Jeremy? I guess someone who wasn't sickeningly sweet. So you'd prefer a jerk? Sort of. I guess. Whatever. Cool. This still all applies to all of us, except for maybe Bay and Shiloh. They're jerks, sure, but also gross and sugary. <laughs> That's fine with me. Two down. I'm not a jerk. <laughs> For yourself, Shiloh. Sure you're not. Still two down. Alright, Jeremy. Think of something else. Ah, uh, I don't have anything else. Come on, we were finally getting somewhere. Sigh. Oh, Pran's speaking up for his friend! <gasps> Aw, Pran. Jeremy already knows who the pick would be. He doesn't want to talk about it. Why not? I would think that's obvious. He doesn't like who it is. <laughs> <laughs> At least I wouldn't say the supervisor is the most attractive person here like Pran would. Ow! Wow! I mean, come on, Len is pretty good. <laughs> He's like, I ain't ashamed of it. And Everett's face is like, whoa, you went to Lynn, though? I don't care. It's true. These are things I did not need to know. I did? I've learned so much? <laughs> Lynn's like, okay, before I blush any harder, let's just stop it there. <laughs> okay, that's it for this game. Time to stop talking about it right now and do something else. Aw, but what else are we supposed to do? Oh, I know. Why doesn't Shiloh open his present? Alright. Well, we'll do that then. Bye, everybody. 